Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and as many of you know, I'm the black powder guy for Guns of the Old West, and I also write for American Frontiersmen. And today, I'm going to be doing a video on period correct ways of loading a smoothbore in the 18th century. And we'll do that with both round ball and with shot. Uh, for the test today, we're going to be using this French style fusee, which is made by Red Jacket Muzzle Loading. It's a 20 gauge, and uh, it's been pretty accurate. In part one of uh, this video series, we covered loading round ball into the fusee. Uh, and in today's episode, we're going to take a look at using shot. Well, one of the big benefits of a smoothbore like this is that it could shoot shot for small game as well as balls for a large game or, you know, for defending yourself. But uh, in my experience, shooting shot with these is a whole different ball game. And I've read a lot of the period texts on this, uh, you know, essay on shooting and that sort of thing. And I suspect that those guys who were gentleman hunters probably had guns that were better set up for hunting than this all-purpose smoothbore because these babies have no choke in them at all uh, because they're going to be shooting round balls. And, and that causes a problem as far as the effective range goes. Now we've, we're usually told that a load for, for a muzzle-loading shotgun should be square, uh, which is the same volume of shot to volume of powder. And I found that that really doesn't work, but I'm going to load one up for you now, just to, just to give you an idea. In, in this gun, the 20 gauge, uh, using one ounce of shot, the powder charge for the same volume would be 72 grains of 2F powder. So I'm going to load a 72 grain load. Send that down the bore. Then I'm going to take a paper wad, and this was a very correct way of doing it for the 18th century. I, for a long time, I, I would use a tow wad over the powder and a tow wad over the shot. And I did that until I started patterning these things. And I found out that uh, that was about the only wadding method that was blowing my patterns, that was actually giving me donuts. I told you these things were a little bit finicky to load when using paper. I want to make sure I get it going good and straight. So we'll run that paper down. And good. Got no powder on my ramrod, so that's always a good sign. All right, now I'm going to take one ounce, and I'm using this adjustable. Uh, measure from the 19th century. I'm going to pour out of my shot flask one ounce of number six. And I'll just send that down. Whoop, there's a little bit of it. Okay, let me close this up. And I'm going to top it with a paper overshot wad. Once again, it's just our folded paper that I showed you before. And I just gotta get it started as cleanly as possible. Now the acid test of this. And nothing comes out. <laughs> That's what you want. <laughs> All right, let's take it over and see what I can do. Okay, we've got a clay bird suspended 35 yards away. I've got the fusée de chasse loaded with an ounce of shot and 72 grains of 2FG powder which is a square load. And we're going to try to hit that clay bird, and i got to tell you, we may not. Because at this distance, this load is very marginal. 
Uh, we may get it if we get lucky, but more often than not, we won't, which is kind of why I stepped away from this load. But let's see what it'll do. Okay, we caught it with probably a pallet. We got a little piece broken off, and that's pretty typical of this load at this distance. And it's not like you're never going to get a hunting shot at this distance. I mean, you probably are more often than you would think. Well, because I found that square load was kind of marginal on game, I made some changes. I upped my powder charge from 70 grains to 100 grains. I know some of you are going to think that that's just crazy talk. But it helps. So, load 100 grains of 2F powder. Once again, I'm going to use paper patch. So I'll get that started. There we go. The things we go through to be period correct, huh? <laughs> All right, let me send him home. Beautiful. Okay, now, instead of using an ounce a shot, I'm gonna use a full two ounces a shot. Once again, I know folks out there are gonna be saying that I am crazy. It works for me. So, two ounces a shot. Okay, now, out in the field, I would have my shot already packaged up in a paper tube like this. So I don't have to measure it or fumble around with it. But I'll just show you that we're measuring it out and being fair. All right, so we're gonna take a paper wad again and go over the top. Send that down. Okay. And nothing comes out. <laughs> Always makes me feel good. Let's go see what it does. Once again, we've got a clay bird set up 35 yards downrange. I've got the Fuzi de Chasse loaded with two ounces of shot and 100 grains of 2F powder with paper wadding. And let's see if we can uh, blow a bigger chunk out of that thing this time. And that's the difference. Well, you just saw me shoot a couple of loads using cut paper wadding. And this was very popular during the 18th century. Uh, and one of the reasons is because it's very convenient to carry and load. You can see I've got this uh, set up here so that each of these paper squares is pierced and then tied on a string ring that goes right on my shooting bag so I can just pull one off and uh, put it over the muzzle and load it. And that's exactly what people did back in the day. Now, besides cut paper, in this video, I'm going to be showing you shot loads that are wadded with uh, other materials. And that includes tow, uh, which is the fiber of the flax plant. And that's, that's that stringy stuff. Uh, we use it rolled into balls, as you can see there. And also with punched wads made from both leather and from felt. So we'll go through both of those. All right, another period correct way of loading in the 18th century was to use felt wads. Uh, I punched these out of quarter inch felt myself. Um, and they're very convenient and they run just about as good as the paper, paper and paper. So I would use a felt wad over the powder and then paper over the shot. Well, once again, we've got a clay bird set up at 35 yards. We've got the Fuzi de Chasse, and we're loading this time with two ounces of shot, 100 grains of powder, 
felt wad over the powder and paper wad over the shot. Let's see if we can bust that bird. Balam! Got him. Popular loading method was to use two balls of tow. Uh, the same as we did with round balls. Uh, I've done this a lot because it's very convenient. It was, I'm sure it was used a lot on the frontier. But uh, I've got to say that in my testing, the only blown patterns I've gotten were from using tow. But we'll load it up and see how this one does. Well, this time we're going to try to take out that 35-yard clay bird with a load built with two ounces of shot, 100 grains of powder, toe over the powder, and toe over the shot. So let's see if we can get them. And we did. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it blows the pattern. The last 18th century loading method I'm going to show you involves using leather wads. And uh, in the literature, these are sometimes called a piece of old saddle. Now, the thing about this is, I don't know how early these were used, but they were being used by the last decade of the 18th century for sure. And uh, Montague says, his quote is, nothing drives so fierce. And I found that that is absolutely true. The uh, the gas seal with these must be much better. So if you wanted to use a square load, the, the leather wad is probably the best way to go. So we're gonna try a square load first with this. So we're gonna go back to our 72 grains of powder and one ounce of shot. Okay, we've got the 35 yard bird, Fusé de Chasse. I've got a square load, 72 grains of 2F powder, one ounce of shot, a punched leather wad over the powder and a paper wad over the shot. So let's see if I can shatter that bird. And you can see it's still kind of marginal. Well, let's go back up to our 100 grains of powder and two ounces of shot load with a leather uh, leather wad and see if that's an effective load on that bird. Yowza! Alright, well I hope that shows you, kind of an in interesting visual terms, what the pattern board has showed me, uh, which is an effective killing load at 35 to 40 yards requires two ounces a shot and a heavy powder charge, 100 grains in, in this case, uh, and that that'll stop them every time. And when I try to go with a square load, it won't. Well, I find a square load works best inside 25 yards. Uh, like 20 yards. So that's pretty close shooting. Uh, I'd rather use these loads if I'm going to be out hunting. <laughs>